Hello everyone. Welcome to topic of the day. In today's edition we are going to talk about the declining vulture population in India. Recently this topic was in news as the Bombay Natural History Society wrote a letter urging the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change to ban the usage of three veterinary drugs that are known to kill vultures. Now the BNHS it is an NGO in the conservation and biodiversity research. Now let us talk a bit about the issue. The letter warns that the rampant use of three non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that prevent the arrest of of the dwindling vulture population and the three drugs are acyclovenac, acyclovenac, ketoprofen and nemesulide that were introduced as alternatives to diclofenac. India banned diclofenac in 2006 for animal use. And so there was a slowdown of the vulture mortality rate but has not stabilized the population yet. If we talk about the statistics of vulture population in India, the BirdLife International states that the vulture population crashed from over 40,000 in 2003 to around 18,645 in 2015. India has lost 99% of the population of three vulture species that is the oriental white-backed vulture, the long-billed vulture and the slender-billed vulture. The red-headed and the Egyptian vulture populations have also crashed by 91% and 80% respectively. If we talk about some of the major threats to vultures, firstly the use of diclofenac and alternative drugs, lack of nesting trees, electrocution by power lines, scarcity of food and the contaminated food, and pesticide poisoning etc. Now restoring the population is also difficult as vultures are slow breeders therefore if they become extinct there will be a huge ripple effect now if we talk about the importance of vultures we know that they act as natural scavengers they feed on the infected carcass that lead to killing of pathogens and thereby breaking the chain of infections also they prevent the contamination of water sources Now an interesting fact is that vultures are critically important to the Parsi community. The community leaves its dead on the top of the tower of silence to be consumed by vultures. But now they are using the solar accelerators. There's a vulture action plan 2020 to 2025, vulture conservation breeding program by Central Zoo Authority and BNHS that is the Bombay Natural History Society. banning of diclofenac by drugs controller general of india also india is signatory to the convention on migratory species in 2015 tamil nadu became the first state to ban the veterinary use of ketoprofen in nilgiri hills erode and and the coimbatore districts further for positive results which can further lead to increase in the number of vultures we have to create awareness among the cattle owners prosperity monitoring and implementation of the insecticide act of 1968 now let us take up a practice question on this topic vultures which used to be very common in indian countryside some years ago are rarely seen nowadays this is attributed to a the destruction of their nesting sites by new invasive species b a drug used by cattle owners for treating their diseased cattle C scarcity of food available to them and D a widespread persistent and fatal disease among the vultures you can write your answers in the comment section below so the correct answer is B it is generally attributed to a drug usage by cattle owners that is diclofenac and its alternatives for treating their diseased cattle so the correct answer is option B Well that's a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day for regular updates you can follow us on our social media handles and for more such videos do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel